Hey, Alan here for Old English Outfitters. So, uh, you know, a lot of people use rifle for defensive purposes in the home or other concerns, like uh, churches are all the time forming security teams. Sometimes those people have rifles available to them. School resource officers, people who are in schools uh, specifically for the purpose of protecting them as an active shooter. So all these people have uh, typically used 5.56 caliber rifles. Well, Ruger has entered the market on this, I think, with a slightly different platform. This is the LC carbine. It is not 5.56. It is 5.7 by 28. The cartridge that FN designed long ago to be a personal defense weapon cartridge. Their thinking in the military context was for people who needed a defensive cartridge capable of light armor piercing at close quarters, reasonably close range, maybe out to a couple 300 yards if necessary, uh, against uh, an adversary who might penetrate the lines. They're talking about people like truck drivers, uh, artillery crews, things like that. Not frontline soldiers who need a full power fighting rifle, but the capability to defend themselves effectively. The idea was a cartridge that would have more effectiveness than a nine millimeter pistol round. Yeah, maybe in something smaller and lighter than a typical 9mm submachine gun, right? So that's where the 5.7 by 28 came from. There are tons of history out there on it. You can read it. Ruger has made the 5.7 pistol for a long time. And if you look at the bottom of this gun, it looks like a 5.7 pistol because that's kind of what it is. Uh, modified slightly, but it's basically the, the same action as the 5.7 pistol uses. The LC carbine, light carbine, 5.7 by 28 uses the same Ruger magazine that the pistol uses. 20 round steel magazine. Gun does come with just one, but you're gonna want more because this thing is a blast to shoot. You're gonna like it. Starting from the back, we have some very interesting features on this gun. We got a little rubber here, not for recoil reduction. Recoil is extremely negligible in this. What this does help is keep it from slipping off, especially if you got a uh, like a pad or, or some type of garment that's slippery. This will keep it from slipping off. So we have this on the back of the stock. Little cheek piece here. This stock, squeeze this, is adjustable for length of pull. So it comes all the way out, all the way in, and several intermediate position. For me, one of the intermediate positions worked pretty good. All the way in was a little short. All the way out, just a touch long. But you got plenty of adjustment for length there. Stock does something else. Folds sideways. Push the button right there, and you can fold it over out of the way. The whole thing's only 28 inches long, so when we fold this up, we're saving about, oh, I don't know, six or seven inches. So it makes it very compact, easy to transport. By the way, it only weighs like uh, less than six pounds. So very, very easy weapon to carry around. Stock lock shut. To open it, you need to uh, pull the stock up just a little bit. Pull this that way. To unlatch it and then you can put it back where it needs to go. This can be configured to fold to either side, whichever side you want. Got a QD swivel mark point there and also on the back of the stock. The QD swivels on the receiver are on both sides. Got a nice Ruger fold down rear sight, same sight that you find on their 5.56 rifle, basically. Windage adjustable. Folds down, pops up. Full length Picatinny rail all the way out to a fold-down front sight, which of course is uh, elevation adjustable. So just like an AR sight, windage here, elevation up front. Sights fold down out of the way. With all that Picatinny rail real estate, you can literally put anything you want on this. You can put magnifying scope on it, you can put a red dot, you can put a red dot with magnifier, you can put just about anything you want. You got plenty of real, real estate to do that. On the barrel, 16 inch barrel, by the way, on the barrel we have a threaded nut. So you can put a suppressor or a flash suppressor or whatever muzzle device you want up there. That's no problem. Standard half 28 thread. The forend will come off. We got a couple of screws here so you can pop that dude off of there. The forend has Picatinny rail slots. Uh, on the bottom and on each side, so at uh, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock on there. So if you wanted to put a rail up here on the side, either side, for a light or laser or some combination, or a QD swivel stud, you got plenty of real estate to do that. Underneath, you could put a foregrip. Uh, there are tons of foregrips out there that are will M-lock compatible. Easy enough to do. Coming back to the center of the gun for a minute, the charging handle is on, on this particular piece on the left side. 
very easy to operate. Uh, it is uh, also reversible to the other side. We have uh, ambidextrous safety, which is designed like a 1911 safety. Now on this grip, for me, I had to shift my grip just a little bit to get to that, to run it. From a normal position, it's just, it's just not quite where I want it to be, but that's okay. Bolt lock on the side right here. Locks open just like the pistol would, okay? And then you can just trip this. This is going to just float, no big deal. You can trip the slide release, or you can back that up and close the bolt that way. Magazine release is reversible. Instead of being a button, it's a little paddle right there, which is actually kind of nice. I, I kind of like that. That's a nice little thing. Kicks the magazine right out. Again, the magazine is 20 round capacity. Uh, don't know if they're going to make bigger than that, but right now 20, and it is steel, good sturdy magazine. This rifle uses a telescoping bolt or a bolt over barrel design. So the bolt is actually two pieces, but part of that bolt actually goes over the back end of the part of the barrel. The advantage to that is you can put enough weight in the bolt to make everything work correctly. And you can also, because a large mass of the bolt goes over the barrel, you can keep a rifle length barrel and make the whole package just a little bit shorter. So a uh, very interesting way of doing it. The old Uzi submachine gun used a similar bolt design. Really neat rifle. Impressive little shooter. This, right, this cartridge, this 5.7 by 28, does not generate much in terms of recoil. Now, you can talk effectiveness of that cartridge all day long. There's tons of stuff out there on the net about it. Uh, there are people who compare it to 22 Magnum. Reasonable comparison in commercial loads as far as bullet weight and all that sort of thing. However, that cartridge does use a very pointed projectile, not like a typical full metal jacket 22 Magnum. And it's a center fire cartridge. So it is reloadable and you have more primer reliability than you have in a rim fire cartridge. So there's some things about it that make it worth looking at. I think this would be a great choice for a school resource officer, resource officer for uh, uh, anybody who needs a, a small light carbine for reasonably close range defense. This cartridge is going to work really well on varmints, groundhogs, coyotes, things like that. It's going to work really well out to a couple hundred yards. So uh, you got some, some range and capability in this. Neat little gun, really neat little gun. Very innovative idea from Ruger. I did notice that this stock has a tiny bit of up-down play right there. Not a big deal when you're shooting it. Didn't notice it at all, no concerns, but it is there. If that bothers you, it's easy enough to just take this whole thing off because we got our Picatinny rail back here. So this whole thing will just come off and you can buy any other different kind of Picatinny rail adaptable stock setup and put it on there. So it's easily changed. Uh, overall, I think they got some really good features here. This is going to be a winner. It's going to breathe more life into the 5.7 by 28, which has already seen some more life breathed into it. Ammunition is becoming more available. Prices are eh, not bad for that type of thing. Now, I'm probably never going to be where 5.56 is, but still not too bad in the overall. So, and there are some choices, varmint rounds, full metal jacket, stuff like that. So the Ruger LC carbine, we like it. We think it's going to be a winner. It's definitely worth a look for you if you're looking for something with the capabilities that this has. A brand new product. We're going to start seeing them. Uh, as always, please check with us for current price and availability. That's what we have for right now. Uh, come take a look at them, see what you think. We appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.